Hey guys, this is your Chester Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about an upcoming pretty significant severe weather outbreak that will be occurring across central United States into southeastern United States. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please make sure to click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. You do not want to miss a single video. Let's get right into this. This is the Storm Prediction Center Day 2 Outlook. There's a marginal risk with a slight risk in the area of Missouri, Kansas, and this is not the main event, but there is a small 2% tornado risk in southeastern Kansas, and 5% wind risk and a 15% hail risk. Hail will be the main threat here. But as we go into day three, things get more significant. This would be for October 22nd, three days from now, which would be October 25th. So this forecast here is for October 25th, which I believe is Monday. And there's a very large enhanced risk region, potentially making room for a moderate risk, potentially, as we come closer to day one. Cities included are Columbia, Fort Smith, Springfield, Little Rock, and St. Louis in the orange enhanced region. And we cannot see individual probabilities. However, we do have a black hatched region across St. Louis, Springfield, Columbia, St. Charles, Jefferson, all those cities in the Black Hatch region have a chance for significant severe weather, and this area would probably be the most likely to get upgraded to a moderate risk come day one. Day five, which would be Wednesday, October 27th, there's a large 15% region in northern Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and to Nebraska. So these included Dallas, Fort Worth, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Arlington, Dallas, um, all those major cities in the yellow region are at risk for some severe weather later next week. And this could also be an enhanced risk region as well come day three, and could also be a moderate risk as well. There is some pretty significant severe weather coming up, and it does not end there. Day six, to that 15% risk region, this would be the 28th, shifts to the southeast in the Gulf Coast. Tallahassee, Florida, Mobile, New Orleans, Jackson, all those cities included in that 15% risk, same situation. Pretty major event could unfold down here across southern Mississippi, Alabama, Panhandle, Florida, eastern Louisiana, and southwestern Georgia. All are under the gun for some significant severe weather. Let's get into the models. This would be late evening on the 24th, which would be Sunday. So the main event for day three appears currently that may be overnight into Monday, the 25th, because you can see that low pressure system with 997 millibars with lots of heavy rain around it. And the main severe weather threat will be along the line from Illinois to Missouri, where that's where the most instability lies. And as day five comes around, as we saw previously, that line of storms from the Dakotas into Texas could be severe, and likely will be severe. Uh, again, attached to another low pressure system with 992 millibars. And as that pushes into the next day, you can see some pretty bad storms developing in the south where we saw that other 15% risk region where storms could be severe down here. But overall, there will be lots of heavy rainfall all across the board with this, and flooding will also be a concern, not just severe weather. That's just a weather forecast for this upcoming potential severe thunderstorm outbreak. Hazards include damaging winds, large hail, and tornadoes, potentially some strong. This is somewhat uncommon for late October, which is why you should keep your eyes open if you live in any of these areas and have multiple ways to receive alerts. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.